Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick video about a Vim plugin I use called Vim Startify, which lets me basically have a start page for Vim. This is how it looks like after you have it configured, and I'll, I'll go over each of these briefly. So let's take a look at our Vim config here. The first thing we need to do is to add it to our plug config, and we can do plug install. I already have it installed. Now the main usefulness I see here is this ability to do bookmarks. So you can specify custom key bindings for really commonly used files that you open and you can open them pretty easily. So let me demonstrate. If I open a Vim or NeoVim in my case, you can see that it opens up the Startify page and there are keys associated with each of these um, bookmarks that I already saved. If I just want to open my ZSHRC, I can do that. Um, I can do V, I can do W for this window key I have. That is bookmarks. Now there are two other headings that I use here. Um, there is most recent, recently used and that's useful when you have like you can take a look at your most recently used files and you can open them with the uh, number that's associated with them. So in my case I can do one, zero, or one, or two. The next one is the most recently used in the current directory. This is not that useful, um, but I leave it at the bottom just in case, because once we're in the project directory, we'll, we'll be using FCF or our file explorer to find the files. And finally, I set up a mapping key map for Control N to relaunch Startify, because oftentimes if I'm in a file and I want to open up my, uh, let's say I want to open up my ZSHRC, I can just do Control N Z and then it'll open it. Control N V opens my VimRC. Control N W opens up my WimWiki. So. Uh, at any point where I have an open Vim session, I can very easily, um, I can very easily get back to this and use a bookmark to get to somewhere else really quickly. The final thing I'm going to talk about is just changing the ASCII art. The default one is really nice; it gives you random quotes, um, which which is nice. Um, every time you open it, it's going to be a random quote, but you can actually use a random ASCII art here, and you can go to some ASCII generator and example. And all you have to do is copy this. In my case, I open up my Vim config and I can do let g startify custom header equals this. And I can paste this. And now all I have to do is take this entire line and at the beginning of each of these, I need to add um, a backslash and then a, an open quote. And at the end of all each of these, I need to add a quote, close quote, and a comma. All right, and that's done. Um, that's not needed. And in our case, now that I have it set up, you can see that the ASCII art shows up in my um, Startify page. That's all really. This plugin does offer sessions. I don't find it super useful. There are other folks who have used it for project management. Um, but I have a different setup for project management, which I'll um, talk about in a different video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.